We have actually made two major activities uh, going on to support Hurricane San Sandy and the affected states. First of all, we have a emergency management assistance compact interstate agreement where we provide support to the affected states. So we're actually right now we're processing requests for shelter support in the state of New York, including recovery support now that things are transitioning to that recovery phase. The second thing we're doing is we're helping the California Utilities Emergency Association work with the utilities within California to transport utility trucks and personnel and generators back east to help with power restoration. Our headline is today that we have put every resource at our fingertip and we have unilateral support and cooperation from the state and federal government as it has never been seen before. We presently have in excess of 50,000 electric linemen on the ground and we're deploying another nine to 10,000 as we speak right now. This is taking every resource the domestic United States has to address this issue. Absolutely, in fact, right now is really in, in some ways the hardest part of the, the ultimate disaster response and recovery aspect. And then that is getting people's lives back in line into a safe, secure environment, rebuilding the communities, getting the infrastructure rebuilt, cleaning the debris. This is going to take a long time. People need to understand that it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really a marathon, not a sprint. Well, our basic philosophy is mutual aid. Uh, we have a strong mutual aid program in California. We share resources. When I need something, you help me. You need something, I help you. And all, on balance, it all works out over many disasters. California is uh, uh, one of the states that participates in the emergency, National Emergency Management Assistance Compact, where states actually help other states through a national mutual aid program. And so, uh, you know, we constantly are monitoring what was happening on the East Coast with Hurricane Sandy. Now, as we get into the um, uh, recovery phase, they're going to have a sustained operation over long periods of time. And California being the disaster prone state that we are, we've got a lot of expertise that we can offer up to the East Coast. Really, when we saw the event, we thought there might be a lot of requests. So we did get ready for that. EMAC is a regular program we use all the time. So it's, it's something that's sort of part of our standard operating procedures. So we were, we're always monitoring whether when other states have dis declared disasters, we're always activating that uh, uh, EMAC desk so we can provide support. Every disaster has sort of a signature. So if you remember Katrina with the flooding in New Orleans, that was really the signature of that event. Uh, this one really is uh, not only the displacement of a lot of people from their houses and the flooding, but we also have the power outage signature. And that is really, you know, that we fine tune our response to meet those needs on this one. I was involved in Hurricane Andrew and I've been involved in Katrina. This exceeds from a mutual aid request any size and scope that I've ever been involved with from a utility aspect. One of the things that we always take a look at is making sure that we are capable of responding to our constituents and our residents here. We will never drain our reserves to the point that we cannot cover the essentials that we need to be. And that's why this mutual assistance and this public-private partnership is so important, because now we're down to minimum staffing, which we still need to maintain what we're doing for our residents, but we're still able to move crews from San Diego to San Francisco, to Los Angeles, to San Bernardino, with each other if we need them. You know, we've had our disasters here, and when we've had disasters, we've gotten help from other states. This is a neighbor helping neighbor concept, and so when other states are impacted by disasters, California certainly can return the favor by providing emergency assets and resources for their disaster. So really, it's all of us helping each other.